Since the founding fathers, the love of the land is something buried deep inside of us. It is our heritage, our history, our passion. And we are its greatest stewards. From the smallest blades of grass to the widest of nature's wonders. This is who we are. This is Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Polaris Off-Road. Think outside. Winchester Ammunition and Firearms. The American Legend. Hayden Outdoors, the brand that sells the land. Outdoor Lending, we find the best loan for your land. Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering, Envision Design, Build. Conterra, Financing American Agriculture. And True Timber, the world's best-selling camo. Welcome back to Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. I'm your host, Alan Treadwell. In this episode, we take a look at a large tract of land with highly productive flat level farm ground, diverse hunting, and an adjoining state recreation and wildlife management areas. And then we're out to Idaho to look at a beautiful home on acreage before heading to Colorado to view a well-maintained ranch on 162 acres. Also, we tour an amazing working ranch in Colorado along the Rocky Mountain foothills with a fully lit indoor arena. But first, we're up to Wyoming, where we stop at a local butcher shop known for growing their own beef, as well as supporting the fellow Wyoming ranchers. We're in Hudson, Wyoming at Frank's Butcher Shop, and we're about to meet up with the owner, Billy. And he's gonna take us in there and really show us the process. I'm gonna suit up, cut some steaks, and see what happens from the time that cow comes to the butcher shop until it's packaged and sent out the doors. Hey, Billy. Hey, Alan, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see We're you excited too. to be here. Oh, thanks. We're excited to have you. The entire idea of Frank's Butcher Shop really came out of necessity. The last several years, it's been tough to get your animals processed at your local butchers because they've been so backed up. And Billy Britton seen that necessity, and he opened up his own butcher shop. And not only did he have just a butcher shop idea in mind, he wanted to have a retail store. He wanted to be in contact with those local Wyoming growers where they could grow beef and raise them for him and he could sell them in his retail shop. So a local farmer here in Wyoming, they just show up with their, they, they make, make, it, make an yeah. appointment, show up with their trailer, back it up to the door? Uh, well, we have a rail system right here. They just pull forward, it goes into the pens. When we showed up at Frank's, Billy was there waiting on us to give us a full tour of the butcher shop. This is, the, this is the, what we call the hot box. So we got hogs sitting there, we got beef here. And this is where they have to, it breaks down the temperature immediately on them. Right. And then will they work all these up today? No, no, these got to hang for 14 minimum, 14 okay. days. I'll show, the other yeah, I'll show you the other cooler we're going to pull out of. And he took us all the way through the process, from the holding area, to the kill room, to the big coolers where they hang them and age that beef. Now, before we went much further into the tour of the shop, I was anxious to get my hands on and try my luck at some butchers. Getting suited up here, we're about to go in, cut some steaks, see the process as it actually takes that beef from hanging in that cooler to come in here and sitting in this rack. So what do you got going on here? It's your chuck roast. It's your chuck roast. So basically what happens here is the is you bring the steer out of the out of the freezer, yeah, or out of the cooler, and then you start breaking it down and sending it down the line. Yep. Is that what's going on? We have to look and see what they need for chuck roast or chuck steak. Okay. Right now they want a chuck roast, three pounds, bone rolled and tied. Since this is a custom butcher shop, every one of these hogs or cows, whatever it is, has its own custom butcher sheet, telling what each customer wants from specific cuts to sizes, the options are endless. And a skilled butcher like Tyler has so much knowledge of the butchering process, and he took some time to walk me through that process. These are the ribs, You've got your rib roast, or your rib steaks are right in here. They just want short ribs and rib steaks. Okay, so we're gonna take this off, pull the skirt out, and then we'll follow these feather bones right here. This 
separate this okay. from the ribs, okay? It was incredible watching Tyler cut up and debone short ribs. It was amazing how efficient and effortless he made such a tedious task seem. Right along the bone right there. He's wasting nothing. You're making that look easy. Okay, and when you do this, you want to keep pressure against this. And then and, and most of the time you use your belly and your hips to move your roll table. Okay. And keep good pressure up against your fence. Yep. That way your steak don't come out. Cook it or cook. Alright. Watch me. Just like that. The entire process has always fascinated me. My grandpa was a butcher, and some of my earliest memories of him are jumping in the truck with him and going out to a client's farm for custom butchering. So being at Frank's really brought back a lot of memories for me. We're here at the Big Grinder now. This is all, all the off fall that they didn't make steaks, roasts, or whatever. They've deboned it, trimmed it all up, now in the Big Grinder. And this is a two-stage grinder, so it comes out of this grinder into the other grinder, then it's actually gonna come out here and spit it out. And I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, but when this thing gets to running, you gotta hurry to keep up with it. That is impressive, it's spitting them right out of there. It's been pretty cool watching somebody like Tyler who does this day in and day out, and how good they are at what they do. And it's such a cool thing to actually watch where your meat comes from and, and you know, being Wyoming raised beef and, yeah. and, and the care that you guys put into it here has just been incredible. Thanks so much for showing us through the process. Not a problem. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by True Timber, the world's best-selling camo. Winchester Model 70, the Rifleman's Rifle. Your work is your ethic. Your handshake is your bond. Your word will outlive you. There's only so much you can leave behind in this life. Make your land your legacy. Landowners nationwide trust Western Heritage with their land enhancement and development. No matter what the project is, Western Heritage will make sure your future is in good hands, your own. Contera Ag Capital isn't just another lending institution. We are a nationwide network of ag experts ready to meet the financial needs of farmers and ranchers in rural America. Contera understands ag loans are never one size fits all. We listen to our clients so we can get the whole picture, not just numbers on a spreadsheet. We are there with boots on the ground. Conterra, real people, real ag experts. Visit ConterraAg.com to learn more. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Let's head out to Canyon County, Idaho to check out a property agent Austin Callison has listed, Willis Country Estate. The Willis Country Estate is a private home on roughly 10 acres with a custom-built 4,586 square foot home. The property showcases a large fishing pond and a 40 by 60 foot shop with plenty of space to park equipment. The acreage is set up for horses with its corral, cross fencing, and 64 by 72 foot barn with tack room and two covered livestock stalls. The custom-built home features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, an open kitchen, large great room, and a fully finished daylight basement. The exterior showcases a wraparound deck and a stucco finish with stone accents. With great proximity to national forest, as well as restaurants and downtown nightlife, this estate truly offers it all. Now we're headed to Mesa County, Colorado, where Agent Lonnie Gustin has a beautiful property on Colorado's western slope. This is Ranch on the Salt Creek. The Ranch on Salt Creek, consisting of 162 acres, is a perfect place to relax and enjoy the remote sounds of nature. With 40 acres of irrigated meadows, live water, all bordering landlocked BLM and top-notch improvements, the Ranch on Salt Creek is the place to be. The home boasts a spacious, open layout with five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Salt Creek flows over half mile through the property, and the ranch contains roughly 1.5 CFS of water rights. 
as well as nearly 560 acre BLM grazing allotment. With close proximity to ski resorts and an airport, the ranch on Salt Creek is truly a one of a kind Rocky Mountain paradise. Now we're headed to Nebraska to meet up with agent Todd Severson to check out a large track property he has listed, South Divide Grassland. Today we're in western Nebraska with Hayden agent Todd Severson and we're on one of his great listings that you call South Divide Grassland. That's right. This place is amazing Todd. You know this is an area that I've been coming to for almost a decade. I just love this area. They got Ender's Reservoir back here. It's great fishing. Walleye, crappie, tiger muskie, the turkey hunting, the deer hunting in this area is just unbelievable and you got a piece of that for sale. Butts right up against 5,700 acres of uh, walk-in hunting. Offers a pretty diverse landscape, 1,350 acres of grass, 165 acres of really good productive farm ground. You know, uh, this property right here, a lot of it's 1,350 acres of grassland is gonna run your cattle and stuff like that. Good water on the property? Yep, yep, pipelines, good cross fencing, pipelines supplied by two wells. How many, uh, how many different pastures do they have this grassland broke up into? They've got it fenced into six pastures right now. So really with rotational gra grazing, you can run a higher number of cattle on the property? Correct, yep. And then uh, on the production side, is it, is it irrigated, is it dry land? Dry land. You can r raise your cane hay for feed, corn, wheat, other small grains. You know, and the improvements on this place are great as well. I mean, there's a wonderful house, there's several outbuildings. Yep, two shops, one fully insulated and heated garages. It's, it's ready to run cattle or be turned into a hunting lodge. And there's uh, also grain storage here as well, right? Yep, yeah. several smaller bins, and three 8,500 bushel bins, and plus a 65,000 bushel bin that could easily be rented out if you don't need it for your own use. Todd, the location of this ranch is in western Nebraska. In what county are we in? We're in Chase County, about 10 miles south of uh, Imperial. Chase County and Imperial is a very progressive part of the state, and it's a great community. You know, and if you are a hunter in Chase County alone, I think there's something like 65,000 acres of walk-in hunting around here yep. that you could enjoy other than your ranch. That's right, that's right. You know, it's really a sportsman's paradise out here. I mean, there's there's ample water with the Frenchman Creek running through. In this part of the world, you're gonna find both Rio and Merriam turkeys. You're gonna find white-tailed deer and mule deer. You're gonna find sharp-tailed grouse. You're gonna find prairie chickens. You're gonna find pheasants. I mean, it really is a hunter's paradise. And not to mention, I think there's eight goose pits on this property. There is, there is. Uh, locally owned, a lot of years of enjoyment for a lot of families around the area. And there is some income potential on this property as well. Yeah, with the ability to grow some hay and stuff, there's always a market readily available for that. And there's even a, some former farm ground that could be developed in the food plots for, for some bird hunting. And yeah, I think it's kind of a blank slate. A guy could do a lot with it. For more information on South Divide Grasslands and amazing 1,500 acres in Western Nebraska, contact Todd Severson. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. The Winchester XPR, experience performance. It's what we've been waiting for all year. All the preparation, the early mornings and late nights. Hot, cold, wet or windy. Mother Nature isn't doing anyone any favors. From the piney woods of the south to the old growth hardwoods of the east, through the ocean of Midwestern prairies and down deep into the marsh, you simply won't find more effective hunting camo. Gear for hunters, by hunters. Gear that works just as hard as those wearing it. Learn more about the world's best-selling camo at truetimber.com. Goodland, Kansas, 1976 is where it all began for Hayden Outdoors Real Estate. Over 200 brokers and agents from coast to coast. We're still going strong. If you want to sell your farm, ranch, hunting property, needing a land valuation, or in the position to purchase your next property, give our team a call at 866-741-8323. That's 866-741-8323. Or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. Hayden Outdoors is the brand that sells the land. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the American legend. Now we're off to Colorado to take a look at a gorgeous Rocky Mountain property Agent Manny Trujillo has listed. 
Gold Bar Ranch. This is Manny Trujillo with Hayden Outdoors Real Estate and we're in Sedalia, Colorado on the Gold Bar Ranch and I'm sitting here with Mr. Buck Morrow, the owner of the ranch. So Sedalia, Colorado, why Sedalia? Well, it's in some of the prettiest country uh, in Colorado. We're right here in the foothills. So how many acres do you have on this property? We have just at 180, but this has been a working ranch all along and the, uh, the, the horses have uh, been uh, been good to us uh, as far as training them and selling them. You know, one of the principles here at the ranch is the health of the stream and the area, um, the riparian area down there where the creek is, uh, is healthy. Uh, we control the, uh, the willows out into the meadows. The other thing is, is the terrain here for training our horses. We've been able to, we've got the creek to get them into the water. We've got up and down to get them used to using their feet, the brush, getting them through that. Uh, so it's been a great training facility. So I've seen that you've done a lot of improvements around here. It looks like uh, it is one clean ranch. Whenever we came in here, this place had originally been a uh, thoroughbred breeding farm, but it was in pretty bad shape. So we went back in and put all new posts in to hold up the roof, basically rebuilt it from, from the ground up. We recently uh, added uh, 10 stalls and uh, we, all, we already had the uh, Nelson automatic waterers, which are all heated. They run through the winter, no problem with that. As with the rest of it, we have the ability to keep all of our drinking water for the horses or the cattle heated in the winter, so they, it doesn't freeze. Uh, we have one in for hay storage. Um, the, the 10 stalls are, are built in such a way that if you wanna breed horses, we've got some large stalls for foaling in, then we have some smaller ones for if you're gonna keep some horses and, and want to keep them in there. They're basically 12 by 12 stalls and the others are 12 by 24 stalls. So uh, we built it around training and breeding of horses for that barn. Uh, we have two tack rooms, a feed room and an office in there. Uh, they're all heated. Uh, so everything uh, that's usable the year round. If you can imagine, the new owner can take this land and if he or she chooses, break it up into 35 acre parcels. Check out this view. How would you like to have your deck on the crest here, which is basically the southeastern corner of the 180 acre lot and have this view in the morning. This is a great opportunity for somebody to either keep the land as is and have a wonderful sanctuary or break it up into 35 acre parcels. Our closest neighbors probably almost half mile. So and we got about almost half a mile of road back from Jackson Creek Road up here to, to the facility. So in Colorado here, you can get private landowner tags if you're over 160 acres. We've got 180 acres here. What type of animals or species roam your property? Well, we have a lot of deer. And I mean some big ones, some big mule deer. Uh, we have elk. They come through here year round. We've seen some bear in here. They're so shy though, you, you don't get to see them very often, but they do They do end up down on the riparian area, down to Creek. So we've got about all the foothill game animals in here that I'm aware of. I think if, if someone wanted to hunt on it, they, they should do well. And So tell me, what uh, what are some of your favorite things about this property? Well, I think, I think one, of the, one of the great things is that we've tried to uh, manage the habitat for wildlife. And we have elk, deer, we got bear. Uh, we've had uh, all the other critters that run uh, the, the foothills here. Ideally, who would you like to see own this property? I, I like to see someone that liked to rope because this facility is really, really nice. You can rope. 12 months out of the year in it. Uh, I like to see someone that understands that all of this foothill country has to have good stewardship. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Conterra, financing American agriculture. At Hayden Outdoors, we truly value our team of professional land brokers and agents. 
They are knowledgeable individuals, share our love of the land, and are dedicated to excellent work ethics and attention to detail. We are currently seeking experienced land professionals from coast to coast to join the Hayden team. If you believe you're a good fit, please contact us at 866-741-8323. We look forward to hearing from you. Outdoor Lending offers a consultative approach to farm and recreational land lending. With relationships in mind, Outdoor Lending's concierge service matches the lender with the appropriate lending partner. Outdoor Lending, where we find you the best loan for your land. Learn more at OutdoorLending.com. Winchester USA Ready Defense is a select grade of personal defense ammunition that offers a unique combination of stopping power, penetration, and reliable expansion. The innovative hex vent rigid insert shields the hollow point by channeling soft material for positive expansion and energy transfer. Built with match grade primers for trusted reliability. Be ready when you need it most with USA Ready Defense. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Outdoor Lending. We find the best loan for your land. That's cool. So, yeah, I mean, you have bacon. And we go into our briskets. Briskets. Then you have your sirloin steaks. Sirloin. Tri-tip. Then you get your ribeyes, your tomahawks, and then your burger. Yep. And you got burger at $3.50 a pound. Yeah, it's on sale for three bucks, but it's, it's labeled at three fifty. dollars So the one thing that Billy really takes care of are the local farmers. Uh, he buys a lot of animals through those farmers and he pays a premium for it. And he's also raising them on his own ranch. The one thing that really set out to me was the price of the beef. And what Billy's doing is he's buying these animals straight from the farmer and giving them a premium for that animal, more than they could get from the local cell barn. What he's not able to raise himself He's buying from those local Wyoming ranchers. In two weeks, you'll be able to take your phone and put on the barcode and it'll tell you what ranch we purchased it from, how it was fed, and the day it was slaughtered, and where it was born. Because we only do Wyoming beef. It has to be born in Wyoming. We're Wyoming people, so that's we believe in supporting Wyoming ranches. You know, there's a lot that sets Frank's Butcher Shop apart from other shops. Their quality of worksmanship, commitment to excellence, but one of the coolest things is his idea of supporting local Wyoming ranchers while at the same time offering some of the lowest prices in the area to his customers. And after spending some time touring his butcher shop in Hudson, Billy took us down the road to visit his retail shop in Casper. Now we're gonna get to see where all that hard work by the hands of those skilled butchers back in Hudson, Wyoming, come to pay off, where the customer can actually buy it and take it home and cook it up. Frank's Retail Store in Casper, Wyoming. Let's go check it out. Hey, Billy. How are yeah, you? Good, good, good. How this are you place doing? is awesome. Yeah, thanks, thanks. It, uh, it's better than you described, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is... Everything you guys saw at the plant, this is the finished product. So everything they were building there, this is, this is the product right here. Frank's retail store there in Casper is something to see. From the time you're standing outside and it looks like a barn, to the moment that you walk in and you see the selection of meat in the case to your right. One of my favorite features of the retail shop there in Casper was the VIP area upstairs called the Bull Room. Now this area can be rented out and you can get your own private bar. It's a family style meal which features five different steaks and allows you to try everything that they make at Frank's Butcher Shop. So the Frank is your, is your dad? Yeah, hardest working man I've ever been around in my life and uh, taught me how to work hard. Yeah. And we didn't come from a lot so when we went out to dinner, you, you know, I was a little kid and I'd have to get my, my little suit out or my tie and put it on and, and uh, we'd go out to dinner and he loved to explain steaks to me. Just, yeah. I mean, he loved to, a good steak in Wyoming, and he loved everything about Wyoming, and that's kind of why I wanted to name it after him, and plus, Frank's a cool butcher, man. Yeah, Let's be honest. it is. After checking out the store, we took a trip out to Billy's Ranch, where he showed us his home, and most importantly, where he raises these prime steers that produce this high quality end cuts of meat that we've been looking at. These are the boys. And you have about 200 head on the, on yeah. the ranch right now? Yeah. So these will be Wyoming grown, grass-fed grass -fed, beef. Yeah. There's just anything that you get into to do it right. There's so much to it, you know. Yes. I mean, that, that a guy doesn't think about that that wonderful steak sitting on your plate <laughs> that you don't think about. It is, you know. It is. I mean, so I mean, 
I, I'm, I'm guilty of just grabbing a loaf of bread out of the bag and making a sandwich and not thinking about where that bread came from and the guy spending time on a combine or a tractor and planting it in and selling it and marketing it and insurance and everything that goes into it, right? You just, it's incredible what goes into the food that feeds America. It is, and that's why I love working at my store because you, you tell the story. Yeah. People just think it's a piece of meat and after we're done with them, they're educated and they understand where the meat came from, what marbling is, what, what, what how we finished them. I mean, they really have a different respect for a piece of meat than just walking into a grocery store and grabbing it and throwing the cart. Yeah. And talk to the guy that grew that animal. So. A big thanks to Billy for having us out and sharing his story. These are the stories that I love to hear about and see firsthand. Real people, hardworking Americans like Billy, buying from and supporting local Wyoming ranchers. It's real, it's genuine, and it's stories like Billy's that life on the land is all about. For more information on any of our great properties for sale, please call 866-741-8323 or visit us online at HaydenOutdoors.com.